Hi, and thanks for joining us. If you missed our last video, we made it all the way to Puerto Jimenez on the Osa Peninsula. This is Costa Rica's wildest and least accessible national park. We unfortunately experienced some tire trouble, but got it fixed and we were underway again. In this video, we find the easiest way to cross into Panama with a pet. It was quite a detour and we were searched by the military, but all in all, it was an easy border crossing. Hi, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations. And our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So thanks for following and welcome to our channel. Good morning, beautiful people. So today we're Saturday and we're gonna cross the border to Panama. Our initial goal was to get to Panama and return back to Canada. We got to Costa Rica. We found out that to cross with Fiona to Panama, going and coming could cost up to $500 US. We just wanted to stay there maybe like 10 to 15 days, so we decided not to go. A couple of days later, we found out that if we go on the weekend, we might not pay those fees because the vets are not there and they just allow us to go through and we pay something like $26 and we're good to go. So we're gonna try, we're gonna go for it. It is the weekend, it's Saturday, we got everything that we need. We did spend $130 on Fiona for a healthcare certificate here in Costa Rica, but that also included four shots. And uh, well, if it works, then we have all the paperwork to get her to Panama and to get her back into Costa Rica. So we're gonna cross out a border that's not so busy. It's about an hour from where we are right now. Apparently, uh, you could even drive by and you don't even notice you're in Panama. That's what we've been reading. A lot of people have been saying that they cross illegally with your dogs because you just could walk. As soon as you're stamped in, you get to your car or whatever and you could just walk by and no one's going to stop you because it's a little town and the borders are right there. But we don't want to do that. Just because we don't know what kind of trouble we could get into further down the road, either to come back in or if we get stopped down there and they ask for some paperwork. We just never know. Or if our plans decide to change later on, you know, we don't want to feel like, oh man, we missed the opportunity because we don't have the right paperwork. So we always try to do it legally because, you know, again, it's also less weight on your shoulders, right? It's something that you don't have to think about it sleep better anyway we got an hour drive to the border it is about seven o'clock it opens at eight let's get to it mana and her puppies not my puppy she's the restaurant's puppy hey rose <laughs> a nice tip a nice thing to do when you come down Mexico and all these countries all the way down there's a lot of stray dogs that are super hungry they're so skinny and we usually buy at Walmart or any store that they have like a dry food or wet food or whatever, you know, especially dry food is much cheaper and it lasts longer. So it's easy to, you know, put a cup, put it so they could eat, right? We've been doing that a lot, a longer trip. But not only that, also it could be a very, very good, uh, um, safety tip because a lot of people down here as well for some reason they're very afraid of dogs so every time they see fiona they're like brava brava you know they're, they're, they have that fear so that being said someone told me that which I, I didn't think about it but it's very very 
good tip. Oh, uh, he leaves like a little dog dish, a food dish, like a little Tupperware with dog food at the stairs of his van, and another one with water. And usually people think there's a dog inside the van, even though if they don't have one, it's just for the stray. So it serves as security purpose. And also you're doing a good deed because you're helping to, you know, feed the guy that's hungry. All right, time to put on the GPS and we get going to that border. border crossing this border is really low-key from what I understand so we have an idea where the buildings are and first step is walk in those buildings and hopefully they're gonna guide us into what our next step will be so this first office right here is the police I asked them where is the immigration he told me the office right over here so let's go check it out this is the immigration office and aduana. But before you go to the immigration office, you need to go pay your exit tax on the Costa Rica side. That is at a hardware store nearby, not even two minute walk. So that's immigration. We found that out. But now I got to go to the hardware store and pay the exit tax, which is $8 each. So this is the hardware store where we pay our exit tax. Cool fact, that side of the road, Costa Rica, this side of the road, Panama. So I'm not even checked in Panama yet and I already, I'm in Panama already. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You don't even need to go through the borders. The borders is just to make it legal. So anyway, people that live around here, they just go back and forth as they please. So like right now, I'm walking in Panama side. Costa Rica site. All right, so we are officially stamped out from Costa Rica and we paused our uh, vehicle import for many days. Good for, as long as we're uh, back within less than three months. So the, the tip is paused for three months or less. Now we gotta go back to the Panama site. Uh, we're gonna, first of all, we're gonna deal with the insurance. We were quoted $25 for 30 days. I don't know if there's gonna be any additional fees. So that's a building uh, where I showed you guys a little bit earlier. And once we're done with the insurance, we're gonna go to the immigration and aduana on Panama side. And there's no official gate between Panama and Costa Rica. Yeah. All right, things are moving forward. Insurance is done, $25 for 30 days. So it's the same price for 30 days. Every 30 days is $25, period. Now we're gonna figure it out the Panama side. So that was fast on the immigration side. They just looked at our COVID vaccines that was done and the nurse is right next to the immigration. He took our insurance paper and then from the insurance paper, our passports, stamped us in and here we are. Now we're going to Aduana for the car and for Fiona. So far, so good. Uh, so now we're doing the Aduana side and I gotta go make photocopies. And luckily there's a photocopy machine around here that I noticed. And we're doing the papers for Fiona, which should be about 26 bucks. So photocopies. Photocopies are done. One thing I cannot stress enough is always carry US dollars with you. So it looks like we're done. Total was about two hours. Just gonna go to fumigation was, they charge us $6 for fumigation. $18 exit, so it was like $9 each. It's supposed to be eight, but whatever. And uh, I think that was it. 
I'm not sure what else did we pay. Anyway, we're gonna debrief in the car. It's 10.22, I think it took us about two hours, two hours and a half, not more than that, and we're done. We might have another checkpoint, but we're just exiting and we're stamped out from Costa Rica. We're stamped in into Panama. We paused our um, vehicle import for 90 days. And uh, yeah, oh yeah, the best one, we only paid $26 for Fiona. So normally what we have been reading is there's a $140 fee, pet fee. Uh, well, but we were told if you come on the weekend, usually they're not there. So you don't have to pay. But not only that, chose a border that's not very busy. And we honestly were the only ones there. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, this border was easy. It was relaxed, very, yeah. very friendly. Very friendly. They're always joking around and laughing. And, uh, uh, you know, they're not that busy. Maybe that's why I guess they're happy when they get customers. <laughs> but it was smooth. It was nice. What a pleasant. And it's nice to be on our final destination. Well, for now in Panama and yeah here we are so pretty easy border crossing guys so if you have pets and you're afraid of paying that one thirty seven dollars take a chance on the weekend they also told us if you show up after six o'clock or seven they're not there but that's too late to drive for us we don't like to drive at night especially sundown is at six o'clock we paid eighteen dollars to exit Costa Rica and then we paid uh, $25 to enter with Fiona to Panama. We also paid $25 for car insurance for 30 days. $6 for fumigation on the Panama sites. And $1 for photocopies. Panama! I know that there's a song, Panama, but I don't remember how it goes. <laughs> woo, woo, woo! We made it to Panama! Woo! Yeah, we made it. I'm really happy about this because, you know, I think if we didn't do Panama, you would have had that unfinished business. Mm -hmm. And if ever we want to continue, then we know we just got to continue from Colombia down. Or oh. Argentina. Or Argentina. But at least we know all the north and central is done from the United States to Panama. Feels good. Mission accomplished. You know, Yay. we started with this vent project with this in the back burner. We didn't think it was possible. Even when we left Canada, our intentions were to stay in Mexico for the entire winter. And here we are. I'm anxious to see Panama. I'm anxious to see all this beautiful towns and the canal. The canal I think is going to be my final destination. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm happy to be here in this beautiful country because it ends here for now. So let's get to it. El conductor. Dueño del vehículo que Dueño del vehículo. Uh, in Canada, it's two. It's two. Do you understand? Where is the paper? Where are the data of the vehicle? Uh, Where is the motor, chassis, model, type of vehicle?
Welcome to Panama, easiest border, but it's the first cavity search we get. <laughs> I mean, we have nothing to hide. Anyway, we're good, in and out, and uh, yeah, I mean, I guess they just wanted to get the dog through the car. Maybe they were bored, maybe it's standard, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what to make of this. I'm just happy it ended well, and we're on our way. closure for two hours. Another first. Thank God it's not four o'clock in the afternoon because I would have camped right here. Now we're allowed to go but we want to let all these people go ahead of us. That way they're not putting pressure on us to go fast on these steep and winding roads. Yeah. The reason why I'm happy with this campground is it's $14. Wow. Uh, so we have warm water. Electric. Bathrooms. Electric is included. Wi-Fi both here and at the Cafe Mali Malu. And we have a place to work. Wow. I know. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. That's so nice. It is really nice. So yeah, uh, I, I told him one night, but we're going to be staying longer, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. It's so nice. This is a nice place to work. It's pretty cool. Parked stopped we're leveled it's 
hour changed. So it's actually 6.40 right now. Sunset will be in about 10, 15 minutes. It was a long day at the border. Not long. And borders are always stressful, but this one was easy. It's just to go through the paperwork. Everything went well. I'm happy that we didn't have to pay the full amount for Fiona. The uh, checkpoint with the army, I was a little stressed, but not to the point where panicky, because one thing that released a lot of my stress was the fact that there was two different teams there. There was, there was the aduana and the military. When you have two different teams, like aduana and military, these guys are always on rotation. So there's less possibilities of colluding together. The other thing why they might have stopped is maybe it could have been because there's not a lot of traffic on that checkpoint and they saw us. They like to keep their dogs working, their dogs active, you know, and they also had a bunch of paperwork they had to fill up. So I'm assuming at the end of the day, they have to report to someone and they got to show something that, hey, we've been working. So whatever, you know, but it, there's still that little light that pops in your head. So I hope this video was informative and you guys liked it. Please give us a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps us a lot. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.